Today, we will talk about how to make biodiesel from used cooking oil. Let's have a look at the details. Biodiesel is a combustible fuel that is biodegradable and made from vegetable oil or animal fat. It is desirable as an alternative to petroleum fuel because it uses renewable resources that are less damaging to the environment to produce and emit less harmful greenhouse gases. When burned as fuel, the first step is getting used cooking oil. Obtain used cooking oil. Locate a source of vegetable oil that has been used in cooking. Contact local fast food restaurants, cafeterias, hotels, and other commercial food establishments to see if you can take their waste oil or pay a very small fee for it. You may compete with rendering companies who also pay restaurants to take used oil off their hands. Examine the oil. Look at the oil you obtain to roughly determine its quality. It should look darker than fresh or unused vegetable oil and will likely include small food matter left from the frying process. If the oil appears milky or cloudy, do not use it as it is likely too high in water content and or animal fats, which will interfere with the biodiesel production process. Pour your oil into clear plastic containers. Take any transparent plastic jug from juice, soda, or any other household product and pour your used oil into it for storage. The second step is filtering the oil. Heat the oil to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour your used oil into a large, clean cooking pot and heat it to 95 degrees Fahrenheit over an electric burner to make the oil easier to pour for filtration. Use a cooking thermometer to monitor the temperature. Use cheesecloth or a coffee filter to pour oil through. Discard the cheesecloth coffee filter or screen with the particles that were caught or rinse thoroughly for future use if applicable. Reheat the oil to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour your screened oil back into the cooking pot after washing out the pot thoroughly. Pour the reheated oil into a container to settle. Let the oil sit for at least 24 hours to allow the water to further settle to the bottom of the container. Transfer the oil to a clean container. After settling is complete, pour the oil slowly into a new, clean container labeled filtered oil or something similar, taking care not to pour the settled water in with the oil. And, the third step is testing the oil's acidity. Titration process. Dissolve the lye into distilled water. In a glass container, add a gram of lye to one liter of distilled water. This is a 0.1% lye solution used as a testing device for the pH level of your oil. Add oil to a sopropyl alcohol. Warm the mixture gently by placing the container into hot water. Then stir until the mixture is clear. Add phenolphthalein solution. Add 0.1% lye solution to your oil and alcohol mixture. Stir continuously. Stop adding the lye solution when your mixture achieves a pink or magenta color and hold that color for 15 seconds, indicating the correct pH level. Ready your main quantity of oil. After you've determined the acidity of your oil, you can complete the rest of the chemical reaction to create biodiesel using your filtered oil, lye, and methanol. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.